Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Um, it is Saturday and it is five past eight. I need to go and feed the sheep and then go do my facilitator job with the two young adults with autism. Um, and then that is pretty much it for the weekend, apart from this house sit and popping in to feed the cat that I've been feeding. So that's quite a relaxed weekend for me, actually. That's not too busy. I'm not as relaxed as last weekend when I was out in the van, but you know. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to head off now. I'm just making the dogs go out for wheeze. And then I'm going to go and uh, feed the sheep and then head over to this job. Usually the mornings are spent encouraging and supporting the young adults to do their um, cleaning and tidying their room, washing the floor. That's it, baby, go for food. Washing the floor and that kind of thing. Just to make sure that they have done that once a week so that's kind of how Saturday morning is spent and then we often go out for a walk um I'm not shadowing this time so I am just working with one other member of staff so it's me and one other member of staff it's proper proper this time I I know what to do now though because I've, I've been a few times shadowing others so I feel like I I know what I'm doing anyway we'll see how that goes I'll come back to you in a bit get get stiff I have arrived arrived the troops have realized i have arrived <laughs> morning I think someone might want my breakfast hello lovelies are we all right the babies are huge now aren't you frozen i fed the chickens giving these guys all fresh Hay and food. Storm. Hello. Yep, everyone's getting full bellies. It is a bit drizzly, but the temperature's dropped a lot today, which is quite nice actually, to be honest. I'm still in a vest top, so it's not like it's freezing or anything. There's a little bit of drizzle, but I've got a coat in the car in case I need it later. Shut that gate because otherwise Ludo will be running riot around the farm. It's all very quiet here this morning. It's harvest time so it's pretty full on but maybe they're actually, they've either all left, maybe. Although, no, I can see tractors over there, I don't think they've started yet. Or they're having a slightly chilled morning, which don't blame them, they work flipping hard. Right, let's head off to job number two this morning, which is my facilitator job. Nose is different. Huh. I've finished my morning jobs, my sheep feeding, my facilitator work. I've just come to feed Dexter. So sprightly for an 18 year old cat. You look amazing, don't you Dexter? You're so beautiful. You're handsome, I should say you're handsome. He's eating his food. Done his cat litter tray for him. I'm not going to water the plants today. I spent a good half hour or so doing the plants yesterday. So that's not happening today. Um, and it is going to rain, I think, later. Nice. I can hear next door. There was drumming. And now there seems to be some sort of electric bass guitar going on. They've paused momentarily. Must have known I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> but this house is not joined to another house at any point that I'm aware of. I believe there is a gap between the two. Um, maybe it joins slightly in one area, but it's very loud. It's like it's in this house. <laughs> oh, well, it's the middle of the day. They're having fun, so... Um, I am going to take the dogs for a walk in a bit, but I decided to do some editing because I've only got 30 minutes left on my storage of my phone. And so if I don't start editing and getting some of these videos actually off my phone and up onto the internet, then I'm not going to have any space to actually create anything. So I should probably stop this filming and start editing.
something in a garden somewhere. I was about to have a nap. Whether or not that happens, uh, we'll see. I'll try again. Oh, I've got panda eyes. As you can see, I did manage to have a snooze. I'm going to have to deal with the panda eyes. Oh, before I go out and get Kenzie, otherwise people are going to go, what is wrong with her? It looks like she's been crying. Um, music is still playing. I think it must be a live music thing going on. Don't think I can think that it can be. Uh, I'm just sorting out dog bowls. He's not, eat, he's not eating all of his breakfast. Um, sorted out the dog bowls. Then I'm going to go and deal with the panderize, which thankfully I picked up the camera. I've already gone out looking like this. Then I'm going to go get Kenzie from work. Um, have a cup of tea with them and then I'll come back here and take these guys out for a walk. It's cooled down significantly, which is nice. It's seven o'clock. Um, it's, I've picked Kenzie up. I had a cup of tea with Lee and Kenzie um, at the house. And I've come back to walk the dogs. It's cooled down a bit now. Um, the band was still playing. I think it was several bands actually because they got pro progressively better. <laughs> First one was not great. Um, I began to wonder whether or not it was some sort of school event with, you know, kids, not kids, but you know, like teens maybe. Um, I didn't think a lot of the first woman, she sort of wailed quite a lot, but it got better from that point on, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I heard them say that they were done and thank you for coming. There's a lot of people outside the pub. So it's been noisy for a good few hours now, from about is it three o'clock, half two, until seven. So, big event. Oh, dog's having a poo. I'll come back to you in a bit. I've done the poo clear up. Anyway, I'm walking down the track. It's very calm and peaceful and quiet. Had the odd person come by. The dogs are very chilled, enjoying a little stroll. Might pop in and see my parents. Depends. Dad said they've got my sister's dogs, so it might not be a good idea, but I've left it with him to decide and then he'll get back to me. They hadn't finished. And you know when I said they were getting progressively better? That stopped. Quarter to nine. And we've gone into the heavy rock, which I don't normally mind. And to be honest, I'm, I don't mind at the moment. Glad I had my nap. Not sure what time I'm going to bed. I did have a bit of drama this afternoon, I have to say. I'm now waiting for the police to call me. I don't know why they always find me. Or maybe it's just that I'm the person that actually can't ignore it when I see it. But there was a young girl of about 16, 15, something like that. A young lad who I've been told by somebody who walked past is 16. He was drunk, he was carrying cider and he was being quite abusive towards her. He was pushing her into the railings, he was doing this weird thing with his foot like he was doing like a bull, you know like a bull's about to charge and they're doing that with their foot. He was doing that in front of her really aggressively and intimidating and shouting at her and basically telling her she needed to follow him. She needed, he's walking, you need to follow me. And you know what, I thought, you know, I'm not, if that had been my daughter, I would have wanted somebody to do something. I'm sure she will probably tell the police that it was fine and it wasn't as bad as it looked and he's just a bit drunk, but the fact is, I've been told categorically, he's 16, so he shouldn't have been drunk. Um, and then he went off up to this pub where this event is so I'm colouring, which is what I'm doing here, to chill myself out. Colouring. So yes, that's going to be interesting because he's not meant to be drunk. He's not meant to be drinking. And he was heading off to this pub where this event is. So I hope they don't get in trouble because he's drunk because I don't think they were serving him. He was walking around with cans of cider. So I don't know where he's got those from. But yeah, he saw me on the phone. And he could see that I was watching. Because I would have said something to him if, and I would, I know, I know you're all going to go, well, you shouldn't get involved and all the rest of it. But honestly, if I'd seen him actually physically hit her, I would have gone over and got involved. 
physically um, because I, I couldn't not. But he was run, like ramming her like this into the railings as she was walking and she turned around and walked off and I thought, good, she's got away. And then he turned around and followed her and I was like, no, you know what, he's not letting her walk away. So I'm going to have to step in. So I called the police. Um, and they were sending a unit and they called me back to say, would I make a statement? And I said, I'm not really sure what I can tell you. I mean, yes, absolutely. I can tell you what I saw and I can tell you that I heard her say, you've spat on me and you've slapped me. Um, so yeah, I can give a statement to that effect and the fact that I saw him being intimidating. Sorry, I've just realised there's a light behind me, isn't there? This is very muted. This is nice. This is like, makes me look like I've got incredibly youthful skin. I think it's just the lighting in here. So, yeah, I'm now waiting for the police to contact me again about a statement or let me know what's going on. They basically, they, they kept me on the line and said they wanted to keep me on the line while, um, until I got back into the house because they wanted to keep me safe so and then they said don't go back out again lock the doors and don't go back out go back out so as curious as I, as I was to whether or not they were actually found I'm not going back out there put myself in that situation hopefully the guy won't remember me won't be able to pick me out if he sees me again you know the drunkenness and what have you but yeah I think he thought he was going to intimidate me because when he saw me on the phone um, he, I don't think he heard what I was saying or who I was on the phone to, but it wouldn't have taken a genius to work it out because I was, you know, stood by them. And he, he, you know, I think he knew why I was stood there. I think he realised that I'd walked into that park and stopped for a reason because I wasn't going to just walk on by. And, um, yeah, he kind of looked at me through the railings and gave me this smarmy look and went, you're right, mate. And I went, yeah, I'm all right, mate. So, we'll see. I was told he is a bit of trouble from the person who, who walked past and said she knew of him because he lived on her road. She said he's um, always in trouble. And she always and his parents will be up the pub. I said, oh, it's funny that, because that's where he said he was heading to the pub. So, I mean, you know, I don't have a problem with some, you know, kids spending some time at pubs and what have you with parents, but it's not a great environment to raise your kids in on a regular basis. Just my opinion. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my colouring.